Notebook LM is one of my favorite AI tools at the moment. One feature that it has is creating full podcast episodes based upon the information that you give it. But it has one limitation. You can only create audio podcasts. You cannot create video podcasts until today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create video podcasts like this from Notebook LM. Today, we're examining two very different approaches or paradigms for accelerated application development, specifically no code, and the central question is really about a trade-off, isn't it? Exactly. And I'll be arguing that no code with it. I did not create this script. I did not record any audio of me. I did not record any video of me. It is all AI generated. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do this. So the first step is to create the podcast using Notebook LM. So you're gonna to want to go over to notebooklm.google, go into the notebook, and I already have created one. All that I have done here is I have gone on to deep research and I asked here, uh, research no coding tools versus vibe coding tools, because the topic that I want to talk about is if you're trying to build an app, is it best to uh, build with vibe coding platforms or no code platforms? But of course, your topic can be anything that you want. And you can see here, it's gone away and it's found uh, about 20 sources, 18 sources here of um, different places where this is talked about. And you can see here that we have got a comprehensive overview of vibe coding versus no coding. Then once you've got this, and if you're doing deep research, this maybe takes five minutes for it to do the research, but of course you can import any other sources. This means articles, PDFs, YouTube videos, whatever you want, you can import it into the sources. But once you have that, we are then going to go on audio overview. And if you click this button here, we get uh, some different settings on the podcast that we want to create. Now, you can either have a deep dive, you can have a brief, you can have a critique, or you can have a debate. I chose a debate because where I've got no code versus vibe coding, I want those two people to you know have a for and against, essentially. So I chose debate. I then went on short, which is going to create just five minutes, which uh, is all we need. And at the bottom, I'm going to keep it really simple and say, focus upon whether vibe coding or no coding is the best approach for someone with very little development experience to build a web app. I'm using uh, Whisperflow just to put that in there. And then once we've got that, all we need to do is click on generate. Now I've already generated mine and here is a little preview. Welcome to the debate. Today we're examining two uh, very different paradigms for accelerated app development, no code or Ensley. Okay, so you can hear there's one person, and if we go forward, and here you can hear the second person. Crucially helps you avoid the vendor lock-in that plagues no code systems. Okay, so there you can see there are two people talking and having a debate over uh, which is better, no code or low code. And what we're going to do is turn this into a podcast, and one of those people is going to be me. Now, the next thing that we need to do is download this audio. And what we need to do is split it up into the different tracks where we have um, a different person speaking on each track. So we've got two people. We need two tracks where speaker A is on one track, speaker B is on the other track. And the really important thing to note here is that when speaker A is talking, speaker B is just going to have a blank spot in their audio track. It's not gonna not exist, it's gonna be there, but it's just gonna be blank. This is really important when we go over to HeyGen and create the video, as we want there to be a big period of no speaking uh, on the video where we can have the other person speaking. This will make sense as we go forward. So what I'm gonna do to split this up is use the tool called Speaker Split. And I'm simply going to take that file that I downloaded, the MP3, and I'm gonna drag and drop it in here. You need to create an account first before you can use this. But you drag it in here, and here you can see we have got my Notebook LM podcast, and it's uh, I've shortened it a little bit just so that it processes quicker for the purposes of this video. Um, I am going to select just two speakers. I don't need to change anything else. All I'm gonna do is click on Process Audio. And it's gonna take a minute for this to upload, then for it to process, then we're gonna download it. Okay, so I've given it about two minutes, and you can see now we have these two tracks. And hopefully this makes sense here. We've got Speaker A and Speaker B. And when Speaker A is talking, Speaker B is not talking. And when speaker B is talking, speaker A is not talking. This is what we need, and this is the really key part. And let's just have a quick listen. Welcome to the debate. Today we're examining two. There we go, that's speaker A and speaker B. Obviously, nothing to begin with, but if we go over here. And the central question is really about a trade off, isn't it? Which path gives. So there we go. There we can see we have got the two speakers split correctly. We've got the uh, the woman and the man, and I'm going to download both of these. Okay, now that we've split down the audio tracks, the next part that we need to do is dub one of the tracks with a level ups. Now, this isn't necessary if you don't want to insert yourself into being one of the characters, but for me, I do. And I'm going to replace the woman 
with my voice. And to do this, we're going to use Eleven Labs. But Eleven Labs, I found, is the best and the cheapest to do this. So we are over here in Eleven Labs, and the first thing you're going to want to do is to clone your voice. So um, you're going to want to go to the section where it says clone a voice, and you want to go through um, and go on the voice clone. And in here, you want to record your audio, um, and you just have to speak for 10, 15 seconds, give it several of those little clips, and it's going to take your voice and clone it. Now, I've already done this ahead of time. But if I go over to my voices, um, you'll see I've got my voice here. And if I click on use voice, uh, yeah, let's just generate this speech just so we can hear what I sound like. Now, I don't think it sounds exactly like me, but I haven't given it that much um, of my voice and I haven't really played around with it massively, but you obviously can spend a lot more time making sure that the voice that you create within Eleven Labs is precisely your voice. But let's have a quick listen. And this is my voice cloned with this new voice model completely for free. Okay, so I think it's pretty close to my voice, but not quite spot on. Uh, it doesn't have all of the emotionality and the tonality that I do in my voice, but you can train that in. Um, you can also make sure that you're using the uh, V3 model, which is in the alpha. It wasn't working well for me this time, which is why I've gone back to the V2. But have a play around with this, as this is going to make a big difference to the um, quality of the output. OK, so once we have cloned uh, your voice, we want to go over to dubbing. Now, what dubbing is going to do is essentially you upload a script, and it's going to uh, replace that voice with your voice. So we're going to go on create a dub, and we're going to call this um, VC versus VB for vibe coding versus oh, no coding. <laughs> there we go. Uh, project. And we're going to go English to English. Um, then the source audio is going to be one of those files that we downloaded from Speaker, speaker Split. Now, I want to replace uh, the woman with me. So that is Speaker A. So I need to make sure that I am uploading the right uh, file here. So this is uh, Speaker A that I have uploaded. And we can just give that a test. Welcome to the debate. Today we're examining. There we go. That's me. Now, an important thing to note here is that we need to click on Create Dubbing Project. So I'm going to click on that. This means that we can go back and we can edit it um, after it's done its first pass, because it's not going to do it correct the first time for what we want to do. So then number of speakers, we're going to go on number one, or one speaker. And that's fine. You'll see here we've got a cost. And you can see um, I've got enough credits for this. And I'm just going to create dub. And it's uploading at the moment. And then it's going to process. So it might take a minute or two to do this. Now, before we continue, if you are serious about AI and you want to get up to speed and stay up to speed with AI, then my Applied AI Mastermind is the place that you need to be. Inside, we have a load of in-depth courses from the basics of AI to building AI agents with NA10 to how to profitably apply AI to a business. There's also over 2,000 AI automation templates ready to use, a constantly updated list of the best AI tools, and countless other AI resources. Plus, I post daily AI news in there, so you're never going to be left behind. And right now, it is the cheapest that it is ever going to be. So go ahead, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Anyway, back to it. OK, so it's uploaded, and now it's just translating. The reason it says translating is usually dubbing is taking one language and turning it into another language. Here, we're using it slightly differently, so it's going to take English and turn it into English but just changing the voice. And there we go. So we can click into this to open up this project. And this is what it looks like. Now, we don't really need to understand what's going on here. All we need to know is that um, we have got these slots here, which is the speaker speaking. Let's have a little quick listen to it and we can hear it. Uh, very different paradigms for accelerated. There we go. We can hear the woman is speaking. Now, what we need to do is we need to um, overlay our voice or change our voice. So in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to come over here to English at the bottom. And then what we will see is we will see a, another speaker appear. So what we need to do is click on this cog button at the bottom um, for this new card that appears when we click on English. We're going to click on this. And then on the voice, this is where we want to click in here and choose the voice. So I'm going to click on Matt V3. I'm going to keep it default. But this is where you can really play around and get it exactly how you want it to sound. So let's close that. OK, so if we click Play now, we're going to see that it's still not our voice. Specifically, no code. Off OK, not our voice. Um, and what we need to do is we need to generate stale audio. So we're going to click on this. And it's going to take a second to do that. If it says fail to generate, that's not a problem. It's just going to go through and do these one by one. So give it a second, and it should clear. OK, so once that is done, you should be able to have a look and see that there is no stale labels here. And if we click Play, and what's been called vibe coding or VC, 
we're looking at this from the perspective and there we go it's changed from the female voice to my voice so all we need to do now is click on export it doesn't really matter the format that you export it in but i'm going to go mp3 anyway and we're going to export okay so that is now rendered and we're going to download that okay great so now we have dubbed one track with 11 labs and it's my voice rather than the woman's voice now we can go over to heygen to create the videos now you can use other providers, not HeyGen. However, HeyGen is just the one that I use and I quite like, and I think it's one of the best at the moment as well. So you're gonna to want to go over to HeyGen, create an account, and again, like Eleven Labs, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is create an avatar of yourself. You can see here, here are some uh, little projects that I've got. Um, if we go to avatars, this is where you want to create a new avatar if you do not already have one. If you don't have an account with HeyGen, you wanna create one. And what you do when you create an avatar is you basically, same as uh, with Eleven Labs, you just upload a couple of videos of yourself. Uh, let's go through this. Uh, and you've got to make sure that you're doing some things correctly. Um, but essentially, just upload a video of yourself, give it maybe five or 10 minutes to process, and then you will have um, avatars of yourself. And if we have a quick look. Hey, Matt Penny, your digital twin is ready. Try creating videos with it. Okay, so there we go. It sounds like me, and it kind of looks like me. You know, it's not 100% there, but uh, it's pretty damn good. So once we have got an avatar created of yourself, then what we want to do is go over to Projects, and we want to uh, click on new video and we want to click on create in AI studio. We're going to come to a screen that looks a little bit like this. You can change some of the details. So I'm gonna go uh, make it portrait, uh, landscape, sorry. And I'm gonna make me the right size. If you don't load in automatically the first time, then you can just select um, a different avatar over here on the right hand side. Okay, so there we go. Now, the important thing to note here is we are not going to type in a script, even though it has my voice. The reason is that it doesn't have those pauses in it. Now, you could add in the pauses that are within HeyGen, and that probably would work, but it's a lot of manual labor. Um, so what we're going to do is click on audio and click on upload audio. Then we're going to upload the audio file, which we downloaded from 11 labs. So we're going to pull that and put that in here. Again, this is going to take a little while to process. But once it does, we're going to be able to hear um, the audio that we produced in 11 labs, but it's going to be in HeyGen. And there we go. We don't need to select voice mirroring. We're going to click on add audio. And that audio is going to be in here. It's going to transcribe it, but that is not important. And you can see we've got our transcript here. Now, if we click play within HeyGen, we are not going to see me talking it because we need to generate it before we do that. So that's all we need to do here. Um, you can play around with some of the settings if you want, but um, I'm not going to. Click on Generate, and this is going to generate the video of me speaking with the audio from 11 Labs, and we are going to submit. You can, of course, change any of those details there, but uh, that's all we're going to do. Now, you will see that it's going to take about five to 10 minutes to process, or maybe a little bit less since um, it is only two minutes long, the video. However, when we are waiting, we can create the video of the other person, right? So this is the person that is not us. Um, if you go back over to speaker split, this is speaker B. So what we can do is we can go back over to projects whilst this is still rendering, um, and we can create a new uh, project within the AI studio. And we're just going to do the same thing again. Okay, so to replace the avatar, we are simply going to go on replace avatar. We are going to go on public avatars, and you want to have a scroll through and find the one that you like. Uh, the key thing here is you've got to match the gender. So obviously, speaker B is a man, so we want to find a man. Um, I've gone through and I found Conrad, I think is a pretty good one to use. I don't think he's got too many hand movements. Um, you can change the background so it's more fitting what video you want, but uh, I think this is, mm, this is probably fine. We want him speaking to the camera. Um, he is quite far away, but that's that's fine. Um, so then what we want to do once we've got Comrade in here is we want to go to audio, go upload audio, and we simply upload the audio which we downloaded from speaker split. We don't need to upload the one that goes through 11 labs because we haven't changed the voice. We just find speaker B, upload that, and again, give it a second, and then we can upload it and we can hear it. And there we go, it's uploaded. So we're going to add audio. It's gonna transcribe, but uh, we don't need the transcription. So that's fine. So all we need to do now um, is simply go generate and uh, we should have that. And we need to name this um, no code versus vibe coding. And we're gonna go speaker B. Okay, and we'll submit and we'll allow that to render. Okay, so I've given it a bit of time and you can see that both of these have been rendered. So I'm going to download this one and I'm gonna download this one too. Now you're gonna to want to open the video editor of your choice. I'm gonna use CapCut, but it really doesn't matter. You can use whatever you like. So once we're inside CapCut, I am going to um, drag and drop in those uh, two files. So that's me 
and this is the other person. So um, let's uh, first just have a look at each of them. So let's uh, put them side by side or kind of like after each other and have a look at this person speaking. And the central question is really about a trade off, isn't it? Which path gives you the best balance of that's pretty good. And let's have a look at me for accelerated application development, specifically no code, often known as NC. OK, there we go. It sounds like me. It looks like me. Obviously, um, me looking at it knows that it's not me. But I think like to most people, especially if they don't know me, it's pretty convincing. OK, so now it's just a little bit of editing. I am not the world's best editor. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm, I think I just apply a little mask and uh, let's go like this. Uh, you, of course, could spend time editing it so that whoever's speaking appears on the screen. But what I'm going to do very basically is just put this person over there. Um, actually, that should be a little bit wider, I think. And then I'm going to take myself and put myself there and do the same thing, add a mask, make sure I'm centered, uh, maybe like that and like that. And then I'm going to put myself on the right hand side. Uh, and obviously, you would uh, make it so that it's all nicely edited. So I spent a couple of seconds sorting out the layout. Uh, and now we can see if we play it. Welcome to the debate where we'll be exploring. Today, we're examining two very different. I'm talking whilst this guy's not talking and um, going through no coding and, and uh, vibe coding. And then if we come to the switch over here. Quickly and efficiently. And the central question is really about a trade off, isn't it? We can see that it switches over perfectly. We, have, we haven't had to do any editing at all, apart from laying out the screens, because we see down the bottom, um, when I'm talking, he's not talking. When he's talking, I'm not talking. Now, if you're actually producing this for real, you probably want to make some changes. I probably could have picked a better avatar for this guy. You know, maybe we want to be zoomed in so he's bigger and it looks like he's actually on a podcast rather than, rather than chilling somewhere in the sky, wherever he is. But you just need to play around with the editing side of things and your own preferences and what you want to create. So there we go. Play around with it. Try it for yourself and see how you get on. That's it from me. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.